everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So it's been a very long time since I've done a Trash to Cash episode and that's just because, well, we haven't really found anything that's worth repairing. In fact, if we found anything that looks kind of cool, it's usually way too far broken to repair it, so we take it apart for the parts. But we stumbled across a couple of these, so let me show you. And these are some variable power supplies. Actually, these are... This one specifically is something called like a retro PSU by Unilab or something. And in fact, these are worth around 100 to 150 pounds per unit. And they're actually out of stock absolutely everywhere I've looked. So, I want to give it a go repairing this. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure if it's broken, but it didn't come with a plug. And when I give it a little rattle, oh, you can hear some loose stuff in there. So I think the first thing to do is take it onto the bench, take it apart and see if we can see anything that's visibly out of place, say loose wires, and then try and figure out what that rattling is. So let's go over to the bench. Okie dokie, so before we take this thing apart, I wanna run through a few things beforehand. So make sure that you're wearing the right protection, say like rubber gloves and make sure you're grounded properly. Um, because when you take this thing apart, there still could be a little bit of charge in there, which could definitely shock you. So just make sure that you're taking the necessary precautions so you don't get hurt. And now, with the boring bit out of the way, let's start taking this thing apart. Okay, so that was really easy to take apart. There was two screws holding these side panels on, and then there was two flat heads on the back. And that was it, the whole case is apart now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go over and check all of these soldered connections. Make sure that everything is connected up properly and nothing is shorting out. So I'm gonna check this over, and if I find anything, I'll report back to you guys. Okie dokie, so I'm really glad that I decided to take this apart before I stuck a plug in it and just plugged it into the wall. Because right here I can see a loose connection on this positive wire right here that I need to re-solder. Which is absolutely fine, my soldering skills have improved. So let's pull out the machine and then re-solder this wire. And before we do that, I want to just double check over absolutely everything else to make sure that there's nothing else could possibly be wrong with this. So. Let's do it. And, okay, so before I start to solder this down together, I just want to show you which connection it was. And it was this red wire right here. I don't know if you can see that, but that is about as close as I'm going to get to the camera with it. So it needs to be soldered right here, which should be a nice easy job. I've got my flux and I've got my solder right here. So let's get on with it. So that should actually be it. And I can't believe I can't find anything else. So that is the only problem that I could see. And now that's been resoldered back on, that actually looks quite good. Nothing else seems to be out of place. So what we're gonna do is put the case back together, put a plug on it and see if this thing works. And there you go, this is the whole thing put back together. There's a, I've put a plug on it now, making sure that it's actually rated correctly for this machine. And now, if we give it a good old shake next to the mic, as you can see, the rattling has completely gone. So, what I'm gonna do is plug this in, maybe connect something up to make sure that it's working, and then, yeah, we're pretty much done. So, let's give it a test. Okie dokie, so we've got this thing plugged in and now it's time to give it a go. I've put a bit of masking tape over the spindle of this motor so you can actually see it spinning, but let's connect it up and see what happens. So there's negative, put in the positive, make sure it's set on two volts, and there we go, there's two volts. On four volts it starts moving, six volts it starts moving even quicker, nine volts, and then 12 volts. So it all works really nicely. <laughs> that worked perfectly, and I'm really glad that the repair on this was literally just re-soldering one wire, attaching a plug, 
and that's pretty much it. It all works perfectly again. But I think I also figured out the sound of the rattling because I've just randomly found this piece of plastic which doesn't look like it was actually meant to go on anything. Um, but that randomly appeared out of nowhere so I'm assuming that's where the uh, rattle come from on this. But now this is going to be put in my home workshop which is actually just a shed with a few tools in it but it's going to do the jobs that I need it for absolutely perfectly. I'm also really glad that I got this working because I wouldn't really want to go out and spend over £100 on something like this. I mean this is a retro PSU Unilab variable power supply and from what I've seen online like I said at the start of the video they range from anywhere between like 100 150 pounds to a little bit more but I don't have to pay that now because I've just repaired it and that to me again is the true meaning of from trash to cash and with that being said that does bring me to the end of this video if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all anyway guys I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you later